In this video, I'll be showing you how to play Steam games on your Android devices using the Game Hub Windows Emulator for Android in 2025 with setup, gameplay, and best settings. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here, and finally, now you can play all your Steam games on your Android devices with the help of Game Hub Windows Emulator for Android. And this is unlike any other Steam emulator that we have seen previously, which was based on WinLater, which wasn't really capable of emulating high-end titles. But in Game Hub Emulator, you can literally emulate your high-end title Steam games such as Counter Strike 2 and lot more. In today's video, we'll be literally playing online Steam multiplayer games on our Android device. So before getting started, if you guys are new here, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. Let's get started. Now Game Hub is basically a Windows emulator for Android devices, which you'll need to add on your Android devices. If you want to set up this Windows emulator, then you guys can watch the video on the iCard above, which I have made talking about how to set up the Game Hub emulator version 5.0. Now in the version 5.0, you get full Steam experience with Steam Steam works as well as multiplayer support and even brand new gamepad layouts. Now I have already logged into my Steam account on this Android device so I'll be using my tablet to show you how to set up Steam once you add the Game Hub Windows emulator on your Android device. So simply go to the Steam section and here tap on the enter button. Now it will give you the Steam login page where you'll be able to log into your own Steam account and access the library of games that you own on your Steam account. So here I'll simply use the Steam client app and sign the QR code and tap on sign into Steam. Once you guys have successfully Logged in, you guys will be able to see your Steam ID as well as it will generate all the stats of your Steam account. Wait for a few seconds and you will be able to see something like this where it shows your username along with that your Steam library. As you guys can see right here are all the Steam games that I have on my Steam account. And in today's video, we'll be testing out CS2. I have a lot of games if you want me to test out, for example, PUBG Battlegrounds, Crew Motor Fish, Halo Infinite, eFootball, Forza Horizon 4, and a lot more. If this video reaches 500 likes, I'll make a dedicated gameplay test video trying out all of these high-end titles inside the Game Hub Windows Emulator. Now once you have successfully logged in, you'll need to select a game that you want to play which is available on Steam. For example, here I'll choose Race Room Experience. Once you select your game, tap on Get Game and afterwards you'll be able to see the size of the game and available storage of your Android device. Unfortunately, I don't have that much storage. So I'll show you with a small game instead which is Project Cast. So here I'll tap on Get Game. Afterwards, you guys can see the game is about 3 GB. Simply tap on that button after tap on I know. So you'll need to be on this screen. You cannot turn off the game of Windows Emulator while it is adding your Steam game on your Android device. So here it will say waiting. Afterwards, it will start adding your game. It will add the configuration. It will add the Steam works and basically set up the entire game so that it works on your Android device. As you guys can see, right here, the game has started being added on my Android device. You can check the progress of this process by tapping on the top right corner. Afterwards, you guys will be able to see your game and it will also add Steam works, which is actually required to play Steam games inside the Game Hub emulator. Now I'll show you guys what you can do once the game has actually been added on your Android device. I have added Counter Strike 2, a very huge game about 52 GB on my Android device and I can simply press the play now button to start playing it on my Android device. And in the recent updates of Game Hub emulator, the compatibility is off the charts. You can even now play games like God of War Ragnarok, which I'll show you guys in my next video. In terms of game resolution, make sure to set it to 1280 by 720p. If you have a low-end device, go to 800 by 600p though some Steam games will have problem running at that resolution. Afterwards, go to the compatibility section. Make sure that the surface format is RGBA8. Compatibility layers should be Proton 10, ARM 64, X2. Translation parameters, make sure to go here and choose the performance translation parameter. So there will be basically the performance button option. I don't know why it's not showing me right now, but basically choose performance from there. And in terms of GPU driver, make sure to choose the default uh, GPU driver, which the Game Hub emulator has selected for you. So basically the latest turnip graphics driver or the system driver, if you have Mali GPU Android devices, DXVK version, you can go with the stable DXVK 1.10.3 or synchronous or even 2.6.1 CPU translator should be FEX 2025 September 10th uh, or whatever is the latest FEX version when you are watching this video. In terms of Steam, make sure that the latest Steam client is selected here. Make sure that all of your Steam client assets have been added before you start playing your game. If you are playing exclusive keyboard and mouse games, then you'll need to tap on these three lines afterwards. Go to PC game settings once again. Go to touch controls and here tap on switch control layout and choose the default keyboard and mouse layout for FPS or if you are not playing FPS game, you can choose the default keyboard and mouse layout or if you want the original controller layout, then 
then you can apply the first option by default the first option is applied i have gone with the third option because ch2 needs keyboard and touch control layout i'll simply tap on the launch button afterwards here you'll need to choose the launch mode which is default afterwards wait until the loading is completed it will take few minutes depending on your internet connection and here we go you guys can see launching game and it will log into our steam account and start cs2 natively on our android device a steam game uh, with online multiplayer features completely functional so now it says application launch and here we go we have well at the top left corner we have the fps meter as well as all the statistics of your android device such as dxvk gpu cpu ram usage as well as power and fps now when you open your games you might see a black screen you might have to wait for a few seconds but as you guys can see once the waiting is complete your game will successfully start but there will be some shader compilation and as android devices are not as powerful as pc if you are trying to emulate latest titles like this one right here then you'll need to be patient make sure that you wait for a few seconds until the game has been loaded even when i tried out cs2 for the first time on my realme gt7 pro with snapdragon 8 elite processor the game crashed like four to five times and even now you guys can see i am only getting about 20 fps so it's not easy to play this game on your mobile device but regardless we'll be choosing our map simply tap on the go button using mouse cursor as well as touch controls you guys can see how laggy it actually is now uh, i don't think that on snapdragon 8 elite CS2 works because of the unsupported turnip graphics driver. I think the game will just crash once it says match found. And yeah, here we go. Once the loading was complete, the game just crashed because it can't really render the graphics properly. But trust me, if you have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor or below, CS2 will definitely work on your Game Hub emulator with the help of Steam Client. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Let's hit 500 likes for the full gameplay test video where I'll be testing out multiple games as I mentioned before. Also, you can suggest me some games in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.